Hi everyone, welcome. I'm down here in my wormery in this bin that you see up here on the upper left. It's the oldest of my systems. I go from the oldest up here, swerving my way down to the youngest, which is all the way over there, not even on the shelf. The, the bin that was launched down there on the ground 12 days ago is actually the worms that I pulled out of this system. As I'm trying to migrate the worms out, I felt like I was pretty much saturated on worms over here in the collection area where I had been baiting the worms over for the 24 days that had been prior and uh, this was simply emptied and relocated to launch off that new system and then 12 days ago this was all replenished with um, a lot of recycled material that we didn't release with the worms we just grabbed some of the leftover food items and big bits of bedding as well as some fresh stuff and after 12 more days it's really just a question anymore of whether or not the finished compost still has worms in it to be uh, moved out or not so I don't know after 12 days I'm wondering what to uh, expect with a 36 day total now of migration um, you would have to think that it's probably pretty getting pretty close if it's not done already so let's get this up on the bench and see where we stand with this thing ever since this migration started 36 days ago this side of the bin where the finished castings are being stored everything got moved over a little bit to make room for this feeding area this stuff's been left relatively unprotected from drying so that little flimsy piece of newspaper I just removed was the only thing covering things here and the the top surface is definitely dry but you know how castings are you probably wouldn't have to go too deep to get to some nice damp material the dryness is uh, kind of one of the main strategies of using this migration method because if this material out here were to just remain very comfortable and well dampened restocked regularly with food there'd be really no reason for the worms to get up and go and go find themselves a better spot part of the strategy of trying to get them to move out on their own is to make this side of the bin a little bit um, undesirable for them to stay in but yeah you can see once we're down a little bit already we're not that deep at all there's already really nice castings pretty nice moisture level down here I guess we should just do a couple random spot checks on the material to see if we encounter any worms because if we don't then we're done here this is a uh, possibly a completed migration I guess there's always that possibility of not trying to um, nitpick too heavily and not try to hit a hundred percent but maybe if we encounter only a few worms maybe we can call it a done deal also here I am shifting the criteria for acceptance <laughs> on the fly. I guess just because I've already encountered a couple worms, it's you know clear that the the voluntary exit of the worms out of the material on their own is not complete yet. So we could always just close up shop here and let it continue, or maybe verify that the food supply in here is holding up, and then just let it continue. As long as we're in here already, to me it always seems like to further help with the drying, a little bit of a, a till of the material. Just stir it up a little bit, get the more damp material that's down low out near the surface. Get some of this drier stuff that we collected here down low. That as a result will just in general further dry the material throughout. But obviously not in such a abrupt shocking way that it's going to injure any worms we're just going to dump a little bit of of this drier stuff that we found out on the surface down low especially on this further end where we would expect to see few worms considering all the good stuff's over on this any this side anymore <laughs> come on guys get with the program figure out where the rest of the gang was i mean when we hauled hauled out of here the last time i took everyone's guessed numbers of worms including my guess and then I used uh, I used my little tracking spreadsheets calculation capabilities to to average those values I don't have that value on the tip of my tongue I don't recall what it was but I believe it was somewhere around 12 or 1300 was our guess so that was what we managed to round up last time as far as all the worms that collected in the feeding area over the first 24 days of the migration during these next 12 days 
I don't know what to expect as far as what kind of a turnout we've got over there. We could check that. We could also obviously replenish the food in there. If it seems like they've already depleted it because if our uh, food supply over in that collection area dwindles then we're reducing one of our uh, other strategies so it's not only helping the air uh, material out here get a little bit drier and less uh, hospitable for the worms to be in but over here we put the tempting stuff we dampen this nicely we'll probably give this a little squirt down just to make it even that much more appealing whether it needs it or not but yeah I don't know I haven't been really keeping track of how many worms we've had to evict out of here so far but if we missed any then my guess is that that dry stuff that we've been sprinkling down into here is going to further absorb any of the uh, remaining moisture in the surrounding stuff um, possibly triggering a little bit of worm movement out of that stuff or at least we can hope so maybe we could just do a little similar kind of stirring of the material here maybe even evict a few worms if we encounter them get them over where they should be with the rest of the gang but I wouldn't expect that we would have um, succeeded in gathering every last worm that remained behind you could see they're all over the place and at this point um, it's clear that we're going to just let this continue a little bit further and it probably won't take much longer but we keep saying that I wonder how long it'll really take <laughs> 36 days you know I've had really good luck um, migrating worms out of their finished compost recently in a number of my bins in fact all the bins prior to this past half a dozen or so systems I think that I've migrated worms out of in this fashion got their migration done in around two weeks but with this migration at 36 days now which is over five weeks it's um you know well over twice the time that it's taken for me recently in a couple occasions to get this um migration completed i think it might have a lot to do with the fact that these castings were pretty damp when we decided it was time to start this i guess i've been trying to reduce my threshold for acceptance on certain things you know where I would at other times maybe waited longer for all these little sticks and stems to also get broken down before I considered this to be a truly complete batch of castings this go around we decided you know what let's not be so critical let's let's uh, re lower the bar a little bit and you know try to move the process along a little bit better accepting in advance that maybe we end up with you know something perhaps a little bit substandard or a little bit um lesser quality to a certain degree maybe not even lesser de quality you know because some people might consider a lot of remaining organic material that's already on the way to be being broken down mixed in with the castings might be seen as a um, positive thing uh, most people are actually looking for like a pure castings you know so I guess the further you can get this stuff um, to the fineness level of almost completely broken down then you know you've got a, a much more pure batch of castings but for me this is generally pretty good already a lot of people will you know also get a little bit critical when they see that you're just pushing the system so hard to break down every last little scrap you know it's like get them working on a nice fresh bin with a whole bunch of fresh bedding and fresh food items to break down and if um if the castings that they created in their last go around are not 100 percent broken down well that's also good <laughs> so i'm not trying to make excuses for my castings i think they're great i don't think there's anything wrong with this stuff admittedly it doesn't um come out as pure it's got a lot of little bits of leftover bedding bits and um, stems of leaves always take a little bit longer but it wouldn't take much after a little bit more drying to run this stuff through a sieve really quick and um, exclude any larger particles of cardboard or wood or anything like that in here put all that stuff back in the game in another system that's still working and then 
then you'd really be left with a really beautiful batch of castings. You know, if you always factor in the um, extra step of filtering stuff, running them, running this stuff through a screen, um, then you certainly don't give this a second thought because you know you're going to catch it there, and then you'll just be left with some really nice castings. So I think this till up is going to help a lot with the further drying of the material, making it further uh, less interesting for the worms to stay in, hopefully resulting in them making their way over to here, which is where we want them to be. So let's just see. I, I, I don't know if we're going to have to replenish the food supply in here. I could always run up to the kitchen and grab a few more things to put in here. I just didn't really feel like we had that many more worms to lure out of the material. So I didn't really expect that they're going to still keep on burning up as much food as they'd been eating previously. So I had this feeling that we probably find leftovers. So I th think we've got like some pumpkin here maybe. And a good number of worms coming out to enjoy it, right? Good amount of dampness around that food too, which is what we want. But what's right near it, some of this cardboard feels like it could... Um, take on a little bit more moisture. I think if we don't even add extra food, which it doesn't seem like we'll have to um, I still like the idea of dampening this material a little further Even with that plastic covering, you know, it's uh it's winter time and the furnace running constantly is always kind of um, Almost continuously drying the air in my house out So even though I try to protect my worm systems from losing a lot of their moisture to evaporation it uh it still continues to sneak out so if I want stuff to remain nice and damp then the application of water is not a bad idea I gotta admit a lot more worms out here than I anticipated I just had this feeling like what remained out in the castings was just a little smattering of the bulk of the population but it almost feels to me like we've almost succeeded in collecting just about as many worms on this go around as we did in the first haul out 12 days ago it kind of makes me wonder if we even need to pile these worms right into the same system that we launched the other guys into maybe we could use these guys here to launch off yet another system split these split these little red wigglers out into two systems now that they've done such a great job here but um yeah let's go grab the bottle give this thing a little bit of a dampening then we're gonna let it continue all right so besides going to grab my squirt bottle to apply a little bit of moisture into here I couldn't resist turning this into a kind of a reinforcement of the feeding area just because of all the worms that we see down here it's just a, a much greater a number of worms in here than I thought so it does make sense to me at least to kind of go ahead and give them some more food and I would I would worry about plopping just frozen stuff down in here for them if that was the case but that's um that was also part of the reason I figured you know besides the fact that it's piling up and I got to get rid of it <laughs> I figured um let's get rid of some of this coffee that been piling up at least I can consider this as a another feeding kind of blend it in with what's in here already leftover pumpkin bits and maybe some other things I don't remember what else we had used to feed with in here and this really does kind of turn into a very generous feeding come to think of it now we got all this paper here too I don't see any harm in just leaving it here with these little guys let this paper also rest out on top you could see how this these couple pieces of paper I think they were sort of out here on top they did seem to do a pretty good job hanging on to some of the moisture here perhaps it's just a little bit of an extra barrier in case the plastic has a hard time holding uh, the moisture down here in the feeding area maybe the uh, additional sheets of paper resting out on the top surface can help a little bit too this coffee has been sitting around for a few days so even though it was totally drenched at one point not too long ago it's pretty uh pretty dried out so I don't want to be putting anything into here that's going to result in any drying in here so let's make sure we go really generous on the dampness in here of 
pretty much coated the entire top cover here <laughs> with coffee. I don't know. Coffee, uh, coffee doesn't seem to be such a great performer. And my worm bins usually at least, that's what I think. I could be wrong. <laughs> Just my observations, I've always kind of noticed that my coffee sometimes just sits around but maybe if we make it nice and damp maybe that's the trick maybe some of the coffee that I put into my worm bins is just not quite as damp as it could be and maybe that's a little off-putting for the worm so perhaps if we do a really good job dampening it and even covering it with a bunch of damp stuff then maybe it'll become a uh, immediately become a much more interesting place for the worms to come over to and hang out in yeah, look at all that stuff out there. It's going to dry. It's going to keep drying with only that newspaper covering. Not to mention all that dry material blended into the uh, into the bedding, too. So that stuff is going to become less and less interesting for the worms to remain in. And then at some point soon, we'll just be able to do that second haul out in such a way that we can also at the same time just bring a close to this system here. So let's see what we could do about protecting this bin from ongoing evaporation get everything nice and snug here eh, looks like we got it pretty well covered here too I guess the only next step after this would be to actually leave it completely uncovered but I, I like just having something there I don't know why but it certainly doesn't offer much in terms of um, holding vapor down it just pretty much lets it go one two three um, so here, really quick, this is where we're at. I did draw a little info diagram of this. Um, thought I'd show it earlier, but before we end here, let's just recap where we're at. It's a 197-day-old uh, bin. Did I say 196 earlier? I don't recall, but um, the only reason I kind of throw this uncertainty in here, whether it's maybe actually a 202-day-old system, is because there was only that little five-day period after the, after the worms came out of the outdoor worm bag I think they were just held temporarily in this intermediate container until I was able to figure out what to do with them until they got relocated into their kind of more forever home, which is this now, which has now been in service for 197 days. But I'm thinking that, you know, I should probably technically um, consider that extra five days as part of the time that they've spent together ever since they left their old original system. The worm bag outside. So this actually does, at this point, date back to the middle of the summertime we're now in the middle of the winter time so yeah 100 almost 200 days or maybe over 200 days um, on this system and I don't think we got a whole lot left I think pretty soon we're gonna have a bunch of depopulated castings here and a bunch of worms which we can either reunite with the worms that we hauled out of here 12 days ago or at this point I'm even thinking maybe launch a new system with them because it does seem to be quite a, a number of them in here I think we'd have no problem launching off a new system so if that's going to be the case, then I'm going to have to think about getting something set up for these little guys where they could be moved into. So that's, uh, that's all stuff for another day, though. For now, this is going to continue. I'm going to mark it off as fed, and we'll see how long it takes. So hopefully it won't be too long. <laughs> all right, everyone, that's it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please remember to leave me a quick thumbs up before you go. It's always really appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel, too. That's really appreciated as well. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching.